What is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. And for those of you that watch a lot of videos on my channel, you'll notice a new background. Well, the reason being is that I just moved. So I'm still getting my room set up. I will do a room tour when the room's ready. But in any case, I, what you clicked on is a vintage Lego haul. So uh, there's a place here in Nashville, Tennessee, where I live, called The Great Escape. And, you know, they get, like, used toys, DVDs, records, all my favorite stuff, basically. And uh, they got in some vintage Lego stuff. So I'm gonna walk you through what I got here. It's a lot of stuff, as you can see. Um, I don't know if everything here is complete, but what's cool is everything has boxes. So these vintage boxes are super cool, but let me start digging in and tell you what I got. So the one that I have here in my hand is 6524, and it's called Blizzard Blazer. Now it's kind of funny because there's no snow in the picture, but look at that great big tractor tire in the back. Really unique piece, and uh, this was $2.99. So the nice thing is, is I don't think there's anything in here that was more than like three or four dollars. So uh, it's just cool to get these vintage boxes. So here we've got 6659, and this is TV Camera Crew. Pretty cool, it's got an old department store sticker on there. And it's cool because all these old Lego sets would show you multiple things that you could build with the same set. Lego used to do that like well into the 90s, so that's pretty cool. Here we've got an old space set. This is uh, 6828, and this is the twin winged uh, spoiler, I guess it says. So that's pretty cool. This guy here was $2.99. And like I said, you know, the cool thing is you get the boxes with these. It's got a Kmart sticker on the top still, so... You know, I don't know if these are all complete. I haven't built them yet. If you guys want to see me review these, drop a comment and let me know. I know that it's not usually what I do on my channel, reviewing like really old sets from like the 70s, 80s, and 90s and stuff. But, uh, you know, it's just cool to get these boxes. So, this set is the Sandstorm Racer 6528. And you can see the axles that the wheels sit on are really old and vintage. They're pieces that LEGO don't make anymore. But uh, it's really cool because they've got like a shock system. So you can see it's like driving up a hill there. Here's the alternative builds on the back. Lego was doing alternative builds before Brick Bros UK did them. <laughs> um, let's see what we've got here. A little tiny set here. This is uh, 1875 and I don't even think this one has a name. It's so tiny, but you can see what that is. It's a little spaceship thing marked at 299. So we'll see what's there. Here we've got, oh, this one says it's 100% complete, but there's a sticker <laughs> uh, posted inside, so you can't hardly see what the set is. Let's see if I can rip it off here. Because the bags are like taped shut so pieces don't fall out. Um, too hard to, oh, there we go, okay, yeah. So 6660, it's a haunted set. This is the Hook and Hall Wrecker, and it's got a two, how much is that? 268 at Eckerd on Clarence. <laughs> Do you guys even know what Eckerd is? I mean, Eckerd was barely a thing when I was growing up, and I'm in my 20s, so that's crazy, man. Um, let's see, this is a cool one here from Gold Circle. This is 462. Only three numbers on this one. This is the rocket launcher. This looks like it's from the 80s to me. Only 60 pieces, and it would have been 499 back in the day. Guys, can you imagine paying five bucks for 60 pieces in this day and age? I only paid three bucks now, so hopefully everything's in there, but this is a neat old space set. This looks like some of Benny's friends from the Lego movie. Pretty amazing. And now everything here is super vintage. I think that these are like, let's see, this one here has a copyright of 1974. This is the biplane, and I don't even know if there's a set number on this. Yeah, there is. So it's set 430, the biplane. This one cost me $2.99. I think everything should be in there because there's not that many pieces. It says there's 16 pieces in this set. <laughs> I can't wait to build that. 16 pieces. And there's a sticker on here that's from Gold Circle that says it was $1.99 back in the day. $1.49 back in the day. So 16 pieces for $1.49. Come on, guys. That's crazy, crazy for back in the day. So let's see, here we've got a fire truck. This cost me $3.99. And is there a price sticker on it originally? No price sticker. So this cost me $3.99 and it's the fire truck. Check that out. Super crazy, guys. Really, really primitive. This is uh, 1975, it says. Copyright October 1975. Wow, so this is 44 years old as of making this video. Wow, that is crazy, isn't it, you guys? Okay, so this one has a pretty beat up box. You can see it's really falling apart here, but this is the police car set 420. <laughs> the
The police car is set 420. Oh, the irony, huh? So uh, this box is pretty damaged, but look at that primitive police car, guys. No minifigures in this. It's crazy. And uh, I don't see a copyright on this, so no way of telling how old this one is, but it's definitely old. Probably 70s, just like this other stuff. Here's a neat one I'm excited about, even though the box is a little damaged. I paid $2.99 for this. This is the old forklift set, set $4.25. 17 pieces on this bad boy. Crazy. And it has a sticker on here, a vintage price sticker, that says this was $1 at the grocery store. Man, could you imagine going to the Lego store and getting a set like this for a buck? Man, I wish. And then the last set here, guys, is this, uh, it says police units suggested for six years and up. It has 39 interlocking pieces, as it said. Really primitive set, you guys. So pretty cool set four, four, five. It's amazing to go back in time to these old sets. Uh, this one says October, 1975. These old sets that only had three serial numbers for the set number is crazy. So let me know which of these sets you like the most. Uh, I like the forklift. I like this police car, the 420 police car. This fire truck is cool. Uh, there's a lot of great sets here, guys. So drop a comment below. Let me know what your favorite set here is. And if you want to see me review these old sets, you can, you know, drop a comment. I'm probably not going to unless there's like an overwhelming demand for it. But like I said, drop a comment and let me know. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. If you liked what you saw and you liked what you heard, feel free to click that subscribe button for more LEGO content coming in the near future. So thanks for tuning in to today's video. And until next time... Build on.